everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very kind of informal, really random, off the cuff video. I am going back to work tomorrow, I've recently been unfurloughed, tomorrow is my first day back, I must admit I am quite nervous, obviously I don't really know what to expect, um, but I thought it would be interesting because I was just getting ready for tomorrow um, to share with you what I'm packing in my handbag. So before lockdown I actually did a what's in my handbag video, I'm going to link it above, I filmed it I think it was back in February time and honestly when I was packing my bag for work and thinking about all the things that I now need for work and obviously this will change over time it is just because everything's so up in the air at the moment uh, my bag has changed dramatically um, so I thought it would be really interesting and you might find it interesting just seeing what I'm now having to put in my bag um, for those of you that are still like furloughed or can't work or what have you and yeah just kind of it's just so weird how everything has changed. So I'm gonna take you through my bag. Now, Now, for those of you that don't know, I don't have a handbag. I always use like a rucksack. Uh, this is my like work bag. It's by Matt and & Nat. And Matt & Nat is a really, really great brand. They're amazing. Uh, they use like all recycled um, resources and materials to make their bags. Um, I think this is made out of completely recycled uh, plastic bottles. Um, yeah, and I just really love their like style. It's so fab. Um, and I always really love backpacks as well. I find they're so much easier to use than like a handbag and your hands are free and yeah um, you can put your shopping in them although I really don't know how I'm going to be able to do that now because I have to take so much stuff with me. Okay so the first thing I think hasn't really changed is I still need a brolly in my bag because you know it rains still that's not changed. The next thing I need now is a flask so at the moment my catering facilities at my work aren't op operational so I have to take my own milk and water with me to uh, make a cup of tea. So at the moment I've got a flask for milk which I'll like fill up tomorrow and then my water bottle um, that I use for like workouts and stuff I'm going to put water in that and then I've got like a little bit of everything. Now as you can see my bag is absolutely packed to the rafters. Um, I can't believe how much stuff I've got in here. Okay so first of all I've got like my little work pack and this is where I keep my phone on me, pens, notebook, um, all that kind of stuff as I'm like at work and I'm moving around and it's just really handy to have somewhere to put those things especially if you don't have pockets um, usually some like paracetamol and things like that live in there so that's always really handy so now okay this is where it gets <laughs> interesting um, hand sanitizer so that will go in the backpack I guess um, but this is just one by bubble tea bubble tea have actually released like a whole range of new hand sanitizers and they're like two pound fifty each and they're all like gin and tonic or strawberry daiquiri or um, really naughty flavors and I love that because obviously you can't drink when you're at work so little little gin and tonic <laughs> and I've also got like a disposable face mask in here and although PPE is provided for me when I'm at work if I have to go out on my lunch break and I need some extra PPE or something like that it's always good to have a backup um, and this was like a, I think it was like 50p in pound land for a pack of two um, something like that they were really really cheap and they're just yeah just little handy face masks really carry on the catering theme I picked myself up a camping mug from pound land because I've got to take my own mug with me to work because there's no like washing up happening obviously because the catering service isn't operational so I've got my own mug um, and then I've got my own lunch boxes now I've got two because I have um, like a breakfast break and then we have like a lunch break so for my breakfast break which is like this one here I've just got some fruit I've got some porridge um, I've got a cup of tea that kind of thing and then for my lunch break I've just got some uh, I've got a coffee sachet I've got a wrap and some like banana chips which I thought was kind of yummy and just in case you're wondering, I used to hardly ever make myself packed lunches because 
well, I just had such great catering facilities at work. So now I've got packed lunches. So in my bag, I've got a couple of makeup bits. Um, the first one being a fragrance. So I've got a Shea and Blue fragrance here. Now, if you haven't seen my most recent Shea and Blue video, I've done a, um, like a preview, like a spoiler video featuring the today's special value that's launching on the 2nd of July. Go and check that out, it is amazing. I am so impressed. I love Shea and Blue fragrances. They're so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, this is Blackberry Wood. It's one of my favorite. It's quite a sweet fragrance, but it's kind of got some like sort of, um, it's like one of those kind of like uh, summer morning walk in the wood fragrances. It's just gorgeous. It's so, so nice. Um, it's really fresh, but really summery as well. So really love that. So that lives in there. Um, what else have I got? Lipstick. So this is my favourite shade of lipstick. This is Moonchild by um, Colourpop. Um, I've always got a couple of these floating around now because I imported some from the US and literally I wear it all the time. It's like my favourite, favourite liquid lipstick. So that will probably actually go in like my little backpack for work, which I like wear when I'm at work um, because I just can't be without it. Uh, okay, so next I've got a powder. So this is the uh, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and it's the Illuminating Mineral Veil. So Mineral Veil is, is kind of almost like somewhere in between a setting powder and a press powder and kind of just gives your skin like a little bit of a luminosity but like mattifies at the same time. Love this stuff. Um, if you're like me and you get a little bit shiny in the summer uh, this is just really handy to have and then just a big like buffing brush it's a little bit messy but you know it works and then because I am an avid fan of face misters I've been trying out two new face misters recently and I'm going to take them to work with me because I do really like face misters there's just something about them that makes me feel really refreshed and kind of ready for the next part of the day so I do use them kind of like mid-afternoon and 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 like sort of like in the morning and just throughout the day basically um and I've got two by balance me uh, the first one being the Hyaluronic Acid uh, Plumping Mister. So it's 99% natural. It's a really natural brand, but this is a natural hyaluronic acid. And obviously it's meant to help hydrate your skin. And in the summer, even though I get oily, my skin is still dry because it's quite dehydrated. So it's really important that I still carry on giving my skin a little, a little mist every now and again. Oh. Lush. Um, so this is also a uh, mister from Balance Me. This is their new one. It's the PHA Clarifying Mist. Um, and basically it's like a, a very light exfoliant, but it also hydrates the skin. It's just really good for every sort of situation. Um, and if you're like me and you get a little bit hormonal, uh, it can kind of just help balance the skin again. Balance me, balance your skin. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's just really nice and I've been using these two kind of on and off and they're just really fab and I like how they're mini and you can just like pop them in your handbag. Got some sunglasses from Primark, always good. Uh, I've got some mints, these actually came in my, they were in my snack surprise box this month. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have a pack of mints in your bag. Uh, I've got, oh these are cool, so... I've always wanted a pair of like earbuds, but no way could I afford the like really posh like Apple ones. They're just so expensive. So I've been trying these ones out. Now I picked these up from Amazon and they were £30. And they're by a brand called Bolt Tune. And honestly, they are so good. I was well impressed with them. So if you've got quite small ears and you have to have like the inner ear. Uh, so if you've got quite small ears and you have to have like, um, always change the buds and have like the inner ears buds that are quite small, um, then these are really brilliant, honestly. So they're actually labeled left and right. So you know which way they go in. They just sit in your ear so well, like you shake your head, they don't come out. Um, they are a little bit slippy and you, you have to like tap them to like, 
turn the volume up, down. You literally can do everything on them. They're so good. I will link them in the drop box below because I think it's really hard to know. It's very hit and miss, isn't it? With um, these types of technology, like which ones are good and which ones are not good. And when it comes to affordable ones, and I think these are a good one. So yes, they're coming with me so I can listen to some sneaky music. And then I've got my coin purse. So this is just a Kipling coin purse. And just keep a little bit of change in here. I don't really like take bank cards and stuff to work with me because I will just end up spending money. So that's what I take. Uh, oh, we're not done. I still have more stuff. Uh, tissues, nail file. Oh, uh, vitamin D3 because it's really good for helping you be healthy. And my hay fever tablets because I've got a little bit of hay fever at the moment. So always handy. Okay, so that's everything that is in my return to work bag. I must say I am quite shocked that I have so much stuff that I'm having to take with me. Um, it just feels like you have to be so more in control of everything right now and it makes me more nervous so anyway I'm sure I'll be all fine it'll be good um, but I just thought you would quite like to see what's in my bag and how much it's how much it's changed like no wouldn't have taken half this stuff out the house with me before um, so yeah it's yeah it's all good I guess don't know I'll let you know anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from me as i said this was just a quick little bit of fun um but yeah uh, have a great day enjoy yourselves take care of each other and i'll see you all soon bye guys